everybody. My name is John Branch. I'm a guitar teacher at the Austin School of Music. Um, and today I'm just going to talk a little bit about some improvisatory basics uh, using the A minor pentatonic scale, Old Faithful. Um, for those that don't know or need a refresher course, the A minor pentatonic scale is going to start here on the fifth fret of the sixth string. Um, and you're going to play up, uh, I'll just do the fingering uh, from string six over to string uh, one. You play with your index finger on the fifth fret, uh, pinky finger on the eighth fret of the, the sixth string, and then one, three on the next string, fifth and seventh frets, one, three, fifth and seventh frets on string four, uh, one, three on uh, fifth and seventh frets of string three, one, four, five, and eight on the second string, and then five and eight on the first string. Now, a uh, question I get from a lot of my students that are just getting into this or kind of coming back to the instrument, uh, a lot of times their questions are, how do I use uh, the scale or how can I start jamming, how can I start improvising with some of the stuff that I may already know? A lot of times people will know what that scale is or know how to play it, but they're really, uh, really confused as to how to start using it when you're playing, uh, playing it over a chord progression. So my recommendation is to, if you're playing in the key of A minor, the first thing to learn is really where, where are the roots of that chord, uh, uh, roots of that key on the guitar. So in this position, uh, the notes A are going to be here at the 5th fret on the 6th string, on the 7th fret of the 4th string, and then the 5th fret of the 1st string. And that's just in this position. Um, now, what you can start doing is using those root points uh, to, uh, to move around familiar licks that you may already know. Like, for example, a lick here starting on the, the seventh fret of the third string. Something like that, you kind of bluesy, blues rock kind of deal. You can take that same lick and move it down uh, around the area of the, the, the lower A position here at the, on the fifth fret of the sixth string. But you use the actual same fing fingering. Um, now what that will do is once you start learning that say if I'm playing an A minor chord and I want to uh, resolve a phrase or I want to get back to uh, a home base for any given phrase I'm going to start having areas on the guitar where I know that that's going to work I'm not just sitting there fumbling through playing the notes of the scale searching for a note that sounds good and then if I get to one that sounds good I don't know how to get back to it. These give you actually some really concrete points um, for, for getting to that level. Now the other thing that you can start doing is not staying just in this one position. And you can certainly learn the other positions of a pentatonic scale, which would be in another lesson. But you could actually start u moving these, uh, uh, these same licks around using, say, octaves or unisons on the guitar. So, for example, the, the first two notes that we just used here, the 5th fret on the 6th string and the 7th fret on the 4th string, that's an octave. So you go two frets higher on strings um, 6 and 4 and you skip the string in the middle. If I do that same octave uh, idea on the next strings, 4 over to the 2nd string, it goes three frets apart. But now I have a new A here at the 10th fret on the 2nd string. So now I can use just that same lick, the same finger I did. I can move up here to the, it would start here on the 10th fret of the first string. And then resolve here to that new A that I found on the 10th fret of the second string. Now from here, say a good unison example would be, if I move here from the 10th fret, it would move over to the 14th fret. Now the way that I know that, um, maybe in this day and age, it's somewhat of a lost art, but you know, a lot of people learn how to tune their guitars using this fifth fret method where you play the fifth fret on the, say the sixth string and then play the next open string uh, and you try and match those two pitches up together. So the distance between unison notes on strings six and five or five frets, strings four, five and four, five frets, strings five and, uh, excuse me, four and three, five frets, and then the only one that I switch down is on strings three and two where I, the distance is only four frets. So I know that's a lot of numbers. The way that works is, say if I go up here back to this A that I was doing on the tenth fret of the second string, if I add four frets to, ten, uh, uh, to the tenth fret, you get up to the fourteenth fret, I'm going to get the same note. So say if I have a tenth fret here, second string, equals the fourteenth fret on the third string. Or say if I went the opposite direction, the tenth fret uh, would move over that we go back, because uh, 
on these strings it goes back to five frets. So this note here at the tenth fret is the same note as the fifth fret on the uh, first string. But so I'm getting off a little bit there. But here I can move that same lick. So I move over here to this fourteenth fret, and then say I move all the way up here from the fourteenth fret up to the nineteenth fret on the fourth string. So now just using one lick and a little bit of uh, a little bit of connecting the dots here, I've started you know utilizing a whole lot more of the guitar neck than say just this one pentatonic position that we all know and love and we should use. But you don't want to be limited when you're trying to improvise. You don't want to be limited to just four frets when you have 21, 22, 24 frets when you're actually trying to play over a chord. And obviously this same concept is going to work no matter, no matter whatever lick that I do. Um, So you get, obviously I'm using kind of the same idea, the same lick there, but um, you can use that to move around the guitar neck and then maybe end it a different way depending on you know, what, you're, what you're feeling there. So anyway, if you're interested in this lesson, we uh, obviously offer some guitar lessons uh, and a whole lot of other instruments, bass, uh, woodwinds, drums, keyboards, the whole like here at the Austin School of Music. So uh, please come see us when, uh, when you get a chance. Thanks.